And All right, showing. we're gonna have to fight three drows. <laughs> uh. So, as far as your memory goes, as best as you can, who all remembers what happened last time? Basically, we fought a paladin that tried to kid try to kidnap Fumi. <laughs> right. After traversing through a very quote unquote empty town filled with dead orcs that are pinned up like scarecrows. Mm-hmm. Oof. Just all. And that. Okay. Any other additions to that? No, we kicked ass and uh, took names. That's about it. Kicked ass and grew some grass. No, there was no grass this time, thankfully. <laughs> You know what? Y'all can kick rocks. <laughs> They'll never lay him with that down. <laughs> of course they won't. Do you hear them? That's <laughs> <sighs> one dead. Sit, sit. Yes. We love you. <laughs> Look, I love y'all too, but that does not mean y'all are not being absolute douches right now. <laughs> What? We're just following what the kids are doing nowadays. Kids doing nowadays? Uh huh. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, with that in mind, then we can go ahead and return to our mithril hall. Da 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 and with that, a little good. Let me go ahead. And let's see. You know what? I am in the mood of spooky playlist. Oh, yeah, I have a bad feeling about that. What? Last time I remember, uh, all Dahmer also got hurt as well. And almost had got one-shotted. Actually, I should probably pull up my sheet. Mm -hmm. According to this, you're at 33 out of 52. So, Dalmer needs a heal. Mm, up to you guys. And up to Dalmer as well. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. All right. And how will you be performing the healing arts? Magically or with bandages? Uh, I ain't taking any chances. I'm freaking magic in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then... Give me two seconds here. Ooh. Ooh. No, zoom in, not out. Oh, that my token? Yeah, that my token. Yeah, yeah, the token right there. Let's see, uh... Give You're gonna have to add it to the What's that? Oh. How much HP, give or take, uh, you're missing? Uh, you're gonna have to look through my sheet. <laughs> 33 out of 52. So about 20 health. Yeah, 19. Uh, I'm going to cast Cure Wound second, uh, uh, second level. Don't forget about your... Uh, I'm sure you got the healer feet, don't you? Uh, don't think so. I thought you did. Nope. Oh. Who am I thinking of that had the healer feet? Was it Fumi? Yes. Fumi has the healer feet. Oh. There you go. Almost 17. full health. Nice. Yay. You're welcome. Thank you. Also, someone's going to have to stream. 
Oh, right. I can help out with that. Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. Thank you. I rather Chris's computer not blow up. <laughs> what? Yeah. Con considering it's new, yeah, I'd, I'd like to keep it. This should be the right one. And we'll increase you. You're only missing two points, so you're at a setting of 50. Oh, yeah, even numbers. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, Fumi does remind you all that we are here to look for a teleportation circle. If we can find it, we can make it to our destination. I guess, can we roll perception? Perception I mean... and or investigation. Can I use my passive perception for that, or...? Uh-huh. Uh, wait. Oh. Isn't it like in the 20s? I got this character. Is that this character? Yeah, 23. Passive perception. 23. Alrighty. I Mine's is an 18. With your passive perception, everyone's scurrying about looking for any signs whatsoever. The only one that stands tall. La -da -da -da. Uh, as Chit is moving all over the place like a rabid hyena. He said we're, scur he said we're scurrying. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Here's one right here. Below Dalmer's feet and Chit's feet. Well, I would point it out that, hey, that's one right there. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, you're stepping right on it. Fuck Bert with your eye. Mm. All right. Uh. Okay. And with that in mind, to do to do as far as the eye can see, Fumi does look to. Mr. Brighthoof. What? I am oh, in need... No. Huh? We'll fight. No, I am in need of your assistance to decode this so that way we may appropriate the location. I believe that you are a natural for Arcana. I mean, I would ask someone that's less insane, but all right. <laughs> that's rude. I mean, Fumi knows. Not insane. Says the backstabber. Yet. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not a backstabber. It's a back shooter. <laughs> exactly. There's a difference. <laughs> It's Not the very sense. much. <laughs> it's mainly the efficiency. <laughs> there still isn't very much difference. And who helped out the most with a net? I put a hole in my spine. I'm sorry, was that an invitation to grow more plants? Yes, yes it is. And you, no, it, it fix that after you got a good night's sleep. Still curious about why, but alas. Uh, Storm, you hear footsteps from the distance. All right, well, we better get it working because, you know, we got company again. Is that an at 20? Do do? That was close to an at 20. No. Alrighty. You do get advantage, by the way, because Fumi is assisting you. At this point, I don't even think he needs it. I don't even think he needs it. Come on. Nope. 
Alrighty. Otherwise, Storm, the uh, footprints sound like they're about uh, ten feet away. Uh, okay, that's this stupid close. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I wanted to move my camera. Do we see what, who's coming? You might be able to faintly see him. Vaguely. Uh, can I wait? I should have, like, the light spell, something like that. Since I know it's about, like, oh yeah, I do have light. Ta -da. Wait, is it what I think it is? Oh no, I have to see the person. Never mind. I was thinking fairy fire, which I but don't. You do see the person. No, I hear them. I don't see He's them. Right there. I know. The player sees them. Oh wait, I do have fairy fire. <laughs> you feel a tap on your shoulder, Storm. Oh fuck no. <laughs> That's a bit problematic. Yeah. I'm gonna turn around and just punch whoever just tapped me. And he straight up decks Fumi in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I try to hold it a laugh as I see it happen. Oh, someone invisible taps on my shoulder. I'm gonna get violent. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that that is completely valid. I just yeah. found it funny. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> Let me let me change the opacity from this thing. Cause apparently that's needed. <clears throat> is that a little better? It changed. I mean, I could see it before. Okay. See what? There's a uh, character right next to me. And I felt a tap on my shoulder, and the first thing I decided to do is freaking punch whoever tapped me. Yeah, it like, looks like that. I okay. can't I I Go ahead and make uh, an arm strike with disadvantage. Personally, uh, I would stab them, but... <laughs> Eh. It's uh, more um, about the instincts. Where do I... Oh, there it is. Back. It's an advantage. I swear if I punch myself in the... F oh my god. Roll again! Oh. Deck, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, look. you rather have the nat one be on that than anything else. Hey, it would be hilarious if she rolls a nat 20 on this. <laughs> it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me I missed Fumi. Technically, she's not paying attention. Oh my god. So, that would be a plus five. Oh uh, no. So Fumi gets decked. Hold it. What the shirt? <laughs> Ow! Rude. <laughs> Storm, what I the hell was that? I my laugh here again. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> But Thor, are you okay? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know Chris has her face in her hands right now. <laughs> Chris is dying of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Get oh, out man, of your I'm system crying. before we start a combat. First few oh. minutes into this, and we end up punching each other. <laughs> I yeah. wonder, maybe I should go tap somebody else's shoulder. <laughs> Who else is nearby, Fumi? <laughs> oh, yeah, 
sorry. Okay. Oh man, I'm crying. Um. Okay, to answer Dahmer is like, oh, I felt something on my shoulder, and you know, I tried to punch it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I can't speak straight. <laughs> I I can't. <laughs> uh, and this is like I this is why I like the simple fumbles. Not not too not too devastating, but a hell of a lot of dramaticness. <laughs> huh. Uh, but otherwise, between everything else going on, yeah, you did, um, Mr. Brighthoof, you do uh, find the necessary combination for what f- what is needed. <sighs> Fumi, holding her nose that is a little bit red. Ow. It's okay. I'm sorry, I did feel a tap on my shoulder. So, yeah, I, I kind of panicked. Delver's gonna right. look around There's to see it. <laughs> Something's okay. invisible, huh? <laughs> uh, you can take a look around. Uh, what is your passive perception? It's 18. 18? Oh, sure. I'll let that be enough to where you can see what looks like an outline of a person. Alright, I'm just gonna... Stare right at the th- at the person. It's mm-hmm. like, no, she's right. They're literally right next to her. And I'm gonna draw my weapons. See, I'm not crazy yet. I like how you say yet. <laughs> <laughs> Give it time. <laughs> With enough nat ones. <laughs> Give it time. With enough of us, it will. <laughs> Uh, to which you can see a person become more and more visible. Uh, to which you hear a voice that echoes throughout this chamber, not given off a direct location uh, at this current time. If you have a passive perception of seventeen, or sorry, sixteen or greater, you can see a vague image of him, uh, of a cloaked person. And this mysterious voice does speak out to you all. Well, I'm glad that you are all making it through. With a little bit of time and a little bit more effort, a decision will be made. But a question lies for you all. Is it the right decision? I mean, we came this far with this uh, mentality, so I'm not changing my mind right now. So, yeah. Hmm. Don't worry, brainwash is half the party. With a few steps back for those that can see, and for those that cannot see, you all you hear the footsteps. Sound sounds like someone walking away. Don't let them cheat you out of your attacks of opportunities. Trump them. <laughs> and with well, a little I more visibility. With a little more in uh, visibility for those that can see from a 14 or greater with a passive perception. Oh, 14? Oh, I can see him then. Yeah. He's still considered a vague image, but uh, yeah. Does Does this vague image look like the one I talked to a while back? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like step forward and say something. Okay. Wait. 
Could I ask you something before you leave? Sure. Last we spoke, you spoke of whether one is able to redeem themselves after committing such atrocities. What is it that you think you need to redeem yourself of? It's not whether or not I need to be redeemed. It's not that at all. Time is convoluted. It plays a part for society to measure their efforts. Well, have you put any effort towards at least making up, trying to make up for what you've done, if you believe you've done something wrong? Does take a few steps and does become more visible. And if you have a 12 or higher, you can see him. Um... Redemption is an interesting term. What acts should people do? What is appropriate? Who decides? Well, no one decides what you should and shouldn't do, but perhaps the first step is to just try. Would you not agree? Yes. I think you should try. And with a bit, with the last bit, whoop, wrong button. Da, 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 da. Double click, and he's fully visible, so no DC is required, no passive. And uh, from right there, he unveils his hood. Looking at you all with such a familiar face. I don't know. Oh God, it's a generic white guy. Do you even <laughs> remember me? <clears throat> oh, hey, it's Kenny. Oh, yeah, he fell off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> don't look the same without the orange hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, what say you? Well, wait, what is, wait, what, what does he mean, what say you? Are you redeemable? I believe I act in a very neutral manner. I yeah, but want... look at all the animal people that you just murdered or thrown it at people. I would like to say that I acted in self-defense in those situations. As any... As anyone would if they were attacked or in a threatening situation. They do what they can to defend themselves. Well, why don't you ponder that for a few seconds as the scream echoes into your mind of a person that did call for help in some shape or form. And what of you? Looking at you, uh, Mr. Brighthoof, are you redeemable? Yeah, I don't give crap. He is of simple morals, I guess, is the best way to put that. Mm -hmm. And how about you, Chit? Path I lead is one of my own. Hmm. 
Redemption is of little importance to me. Taking a few steps. And what of you, Cleric? I got a name, though. Oh, I'm well aware. Hey, Butcher? Are you redeemable? I'd like to think anybody can be redeemed. So long as you try hard enough. And what actions would you have to perform that would be enough? It depends on what you've done. I mean, everybody's different. Every sense is different. And every act of the redemption is different. You can't say there's a definitive way for everybody. All right. What about the one that uh, I guess that you could title as a sin in its own right? Committing such a harm to a fellow comrade. Looking at Fumi. Then that looking back at you. Acts. That's called accident. I don't know, it just looked like you straight up sucker punched her. Out of rude. Yeah, because I'm assuming that guy decided to tap on my shoulder and make me jump. And what I assume you... mistakes of such minor aptitude require nothing more than an apology, but I am not a basis of morality, but I do have my opinions of it. Yes, we all seem to have opinions, don't we? How often do we take responsibility for those opinions, though? How many times have we seen emotions run those opinions versus sound judgment? Well, it depends on the emotion. Was it empathy? Was it care? Was it patience? I'd imagine those would be more of the emotions that would weigh in when it comes to moral decisions. I don't think our actions have been fueled by nothing more than anger, lust, or gluttony, or greed, or even our own pride. Well, except for the one who clearly doesn't seem to care. <laughs> eh. Then by your logic, it just depends on how you bend the mirror. I believe it's more of how willing are you to admit that you were wrong and take the steps to try and rectify it. But that is about it. And what of you, Dalmer? Are your sins forgivable? Are you at all redeemable, knowing your past? Dalmer, you got yourself muted. <laughs> well? The suspense is killing me, not gonna lie. <laughs> I realized that and I was trying really hard to unmute myself and Discord was telling me no. <laughs> <laughs> this app is a mess. Uh, this app is a mess. Anyway. He's gonna like stare at Kenny. There. And kind of just shake his head a bit. My actions, well, they are horrible. And nothing I can do will ever make up for them. <laughs> but I can at least try to better myself in the future to not do it again. Or make other lives better at least. Whether I'm redeemable or not, I leave that judgment to other people, frankly. Leaving it to other people. When many times over and over, people have misjudged. I question, are people even fully capable of proper judgment? I suppose not. I would be in agreement. I suppose with the you. masses aren't. 
And what of you, Fumi? Are your sins forgivable? Are you redeemable? The emotion lies within your heart, feeling that you abandoned your friends that day. Fumi does clutch her hands, but she does not speak a word. For those that are I, proficient I with this, advice uh, from a guy that took the easy way out. The easy way out. Let's go on an adventure. Yep, yep. No, I'm just going to stand on this bridge. You could have dodged. <laughs> right. Unexpected. I don't like that laugh. Um, could have dodged, you say. A lot of things could have been done. You see, as his entire uh, form does change, shifting. I agree, you pissed him off. <laughs> Yeah, like I care. <clears throat> uh, being the adventure that you guys had seen, that, that you that uh, that you had killed. And then his form begins to change once more. Yes. To that guy. Who could have talked things out. But acted. Is that a fire giant? <laughs> Ganondorf. I don't know why you're talking about. How many He's just souls? a fire giant. <laughs> How many souls could have been redeemable? Could have. Should have, would have. His form changes once more. We get it, you're from the attic. I think he's just going to spout nonsense and change his looks all day. Nope. Why are we letting him monologue? <laughs> um, to find because out. Iris is plant. Also, I respect the DM. <laughs> also, I respect the DM. <laughs> yeah, like, let the DM have fun too. But also, like, I want to just find out if we need to attack them. Like, if we don't have to, I don't want to. <laughs> Everything. I hate him. Say it. I keep monologuing. Stop. <laughs> I have readied the net. Um, from what you can tell, he does become more transparent. Uh, to which he says, tells you that well. I guess the question does lie to the masses after all. Whether or not Karsus himself is redeemable or not, I guess it's on your guys' hands. Whether blood be there or not. He does turn and take a few steps. And becomes more uh, less visible. Less visible means transparent. <clears throat> yes. 
the other one would probably be opaque. That's the word I was actually trying to look for. Thank you. <laughs> the decision is yours. It is not mine to make. <coughs> not this day, anyways. Well, considering how far we've gone, I'm pretty sure the, de the decision's already made. And repercussions may or may not follow. I guess it really depends on one's luck. <laughs> and he completely disappears. Well, oh, that was dramatic. <laughs> Take the information as you see fit. What shall you do now? I mean, well, we you were decoding a magic circle. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. We were, you know, working on a magic circle. Might as well finish that. Right. Teleportation is pretty much ready. When you guys are ready to teleport, step into the circle. As you all turn around, Fumi is already in the circle, waiting patiently. Make makes our wait eight hours as we take a long rest. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Hey. Let's get going. Let's -a go. Let's, Let's -a go. go. All right. Yeah. Just go ahead and step into the circle. You should still have. <laughs> You, uh, Storm, you should still have control over uh, Dalmer's token. Alright. Just squeeze me in there. <laughs> there you go. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. Alright. Completing the teleportation, you feel the arcane expand. Forming a form... Uh, forming a bubble to which pops and you all disappear. And no, I will not put you through the uh, the Doctor Who teleportation hole, uh, wormhole. Never seen Doctor Who. Me neither. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Put that right there. Do, 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 do. You arrived and just... away we go. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. grab your token and throw it wherever you feel like it. Well, the, your tokens should already be out. Look for the ping. We should be towards the bottom center. You arrive to the outskirts of Hollar. Ha. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. Ah. Off he goes. Horra. Horra. And that token go. died. Ugh. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> to where you can see a city of, of uh, not that far. Maybe a ten minute walk.
What shall you do? Uh, I'd say head towards the city is a pretty good start. Right. Okay. Ten minutes pass accordingly. <clears throat> was I right? Yeah, that was right. Okay. Ten minutes have passed accordingly. The city is bustling with so many people. Mostly elves. As far as the eye can see. There are some humans and there are... A few dwarves. But in the middle of the street, Fumi does speak out to you all. I think this is where our path must part. Mm -hmm. And what is that? I am to head to Talith Guard. It should be safe travels from here. Should. I don't trust it. Not with everything happening. Talithgar would be about, I believe, three days' journey. If you think you can handle that. <laughs> I mean, considering everything we've been through, yeah, I think we're golden. Right. Um... Well, I mean, if that's how the rest of you feel, then <clears throat> uh, then the decision is up to you all. Otherwise, I... Th well, if... hmm? Go ahead. Well, if we are parting ways, I would like to say farewell, and we wish you your best of luck. All right. Sorry, I'm not really the best with goodbyes. <laughs> Fumi does come up to you and hand you a small purse. <coughs> okay, when I am handed the purse, so uh, what's in it exactly? Fumi would tell you that it's uh, 10 platinum. The other half of your payment. Thank you. She does walk to uh, Mr. Brighthoof to uh, hand him his uh, his other half of the bargain. Do you accept? Yeah, all right. Also, question: How much is that split between everyone? You alone got ten platinum. Oh. No, we're all each getting around 10 platinum. Yep. Dalmer, she, uh, Fumi walks up to you and passes you a purse. I'll only take half of it and pass it the rest back. Why do this? I know exactly what I want to buy. <laughs> we're at the end of the campaign. Uh, He'll probably need it more than I ever will, to be frank. Yes. I'm just going to point it out. I'm split, spending mine on blackjack and hookers. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> All right. Is anybody surprised? No. Fumi walks over to Storm to uh, hand, you her, uh, hand you your uh, other half of the 10 Platinum. Yeah, I'm going to do the same as Dalmer. Just take half and give her half back. Alright. And what is your reason? The same as Dalmer. I don't exactly need money. Don't feel guilty about punching her in the face? <laughs> no, that was an accident. <laughs> the same way she freaking... What? Wasn't she the one who, you know, attacked somebody? Anyway. She got, she got, uh, poor, uh, her soul killed. <laughs> there you go. You see, accident happens, so, yeah. Monty, no. <laughs> he lives with us all. Because I still have him. <laughs> He's a belt I forgot he's in the fucking bag of holding. 
I haven't you had the still... chance to turn him into a belt burger. Oh my goodness, he still has <laughs> okay. To Yo, which, uh, Fumi does walk over to Chit and says, well, based off of everything else, and uh, takes takes the extra coins and puts it in a, a purse and uh, hands it to you. She will refuse to accept it. Why will you refuse? She asks. I was never part of the deal. No, but you did aid me, and therefore should be compensated for it. I had my own reasons of doing so. I won't force it. To which then she does look at uh, Mr. Brighthoof and it's like, all right, clap your hand. I know this is going to be disgusting. I would like to get it over with. Please give me the story. <clears throat> what is needed. And you know what I'm talking about. Michael Redrock, first off. <laughs> Don't make Fumi the boss. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The last I knew... Even you, the Red Rock, wasn't a part of the bargain. Are you going to take it to Talithgard? You. Yeah, That's I... That's a lot of walking. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to be around people of, well, do, my kind. Do you have a bag of holding? No... Actually, I take that back. She should have a bag of holding. I'm going to give yes. her Monty then. <laughs> you can separate that. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> wouldn't, right. he be a fuck, wouldn't he be a damn skeleton at this point because of in magma? No. He'd be oh, he's charged. Still have... He's so crusty. <laughs> You don't sink in magma, by the way. You kind of, like, skid around the top. Yeah. He's all crusty. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, really, um, how to put it, well done. Can, can we please not go to detail? <laughs> oh, shoot. All right. So, yeah, she'll take the bag and be like, all right. Then, uh, those that will, uh, will accompany me. We'll go to Talith Guard. The rest that wish to stay can stay. And uh, use the teleportation to uh, essentially get back. Yeah, I'll accompany her. Okay. And Talith Guard is right up here. Let's see who all would attend. Dolmer said that she would. I already said I would. Okay. Chit. Oh, I am on my way. <laughs> I know the way. Do you know the way? <laughs> I don't know the way. We must find the oh way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Someone made a song of that. <laughs> oh, God. Alrighty. The is a terrible and amazing place all at once. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, Mr. Brighthoof, would you be staying in the city then? Would you want me to go? That's up to you. I'm just make, just clarifying. That would be towards, uh, I'm gonna say shit. And, um, Zaku. Well, 
if you're looking for an excuse to join, I would love your company. Would it involve pillaging and robbing? I don't want his company. <laughs> I would not like to do either of those. Then I will stay. You know where to find me. Fair enough. Alrighty. With that in mind, three days pass during your travel. Nothing happens. Um, except for one thing. When you get near the top, getting close to the temple, off to the side you can see smoke. Uh, ah, shit. Here we go again. Oh, shit. Here we go again. As you guys take a look over the edge, you can see what looks like one of those large spouts, like a geyser. That's about ready to burst. But, what you see Ooh. is a bunch of cavemen surrounding it. What looks to be also cooking an egg? An over-easy egg? How big is the egg? If anybody is proficient with history... They would recall a group of oh, a group of barbarians of running with a giant lizard egg. So they stole that just to cook it. <laughs> I mean, a man's got to eat, but damn. Oh, you know, right? <laughs> That's what they want to eat. You know what? Wait, wouldn't this hatch? It's a fire lizard, right? No one knows. Because there was a fire lizard chasing them before, pretty sure. It was a lizard, and it was a giant lizard. But if memory serves, I don't believe that I said that it was a fire lizard. I don't know. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just leave them be. Let's let they're, them do. They're things. over there living their best life. <laughs> <Just love me. laughs> they're not, worry, not worrying about taxes or like the meaning of life. Just egg. Just egg, and them dancing around it looks like they're having a little bit of a chant going on. Ooga, 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 ooga. Egg. Egg. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I've had enough of barbarians, like two bits of barbarians in my life, so let, let's just, you know, get going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to try out this new spell I learned, too. <laughs> I am joking. Let us take it. <laughs> All right. You make it to the top of the temple to where uh, you are welcomed. Uh, with Fumi being your escort. And there is two people that um, da, 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 at this altar that welcome you both. Fumi does pass the bag of holding and uh, exclaims that there is a uh, Karsus stone in there. Praises for Mistra's efforts to uh, contain the weave or, and uh, restore it and hopefully this would also appease to her that we are as she says with hesitation redeemable for uh, powerful spells that not all of us are bad the uh one of them does take the bag and sets it into a stone, do, 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 which then lowers out of your guys' sight with much, much grinding of stone. Uh, one of the priests does explain that it will be sealed away and hopefully be safe for a long, long time. Got about thirty-seven minutes apiece. <laughs> Before something else comes up, probably. But in any event, um, 
we do appreciate your efforts. Uh, and if you need a uh, time or time to stay, we can offer you a couple of nights here. Or you can continue your adventures elsewhere. I mean, a few days off would, would be nice. To which uh, one of the higher up people does make mention. Yes, and I hear that the there is a portal that should be opening soon for passage into Strixhaven. <laughs> you cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how to make him blink and be funny. <laughs> By the gods. <laughs> oh shit, he was all game. Like, oh hey, vacation in Strickhaven. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> Our characters become teachers. <laughs> Hells yeah. I would love to see Munzeko as a professor at Andruity. I, I would love to see that. <laughs> shit, just oh, being yeah. the fucking PE teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, in an I anime setting, not. we don't fuck with the PE teachers. <laughs> the teacher, is that a shot <laughs> you're throwing at us? <laughs> the entire like roof of the PE of the gym is just filled with butterflies, and if someone acts out, they pick them up and bring them to the dean. Good. Yeah, I'm like, he's just using boulders for dodgeball. Tonight we'll be playing <sighs> dodge boulders. You mean dodgeball? No. I know what I said. <laughs> I know what you said. Now dodge. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we will be taming tigers. Excuse me? Yep. <laughs> uh, and with that being said, our group, in a very cliché not as dramatic, but dramatic that some people would consider. Walking into the sunset, not hand in hand, but sword and blade in hand. Ready to kill the next bandit they come across. The end. Yeah! We this is fun, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I had fun playing Munzeku, though there were some hiccups in uh, my combat. It was still fun. <laughs> yep, and I dare say, if memory, if mem memory serves me correctly, this is Storm's first finished campaign. It is. Congratulations. Congratulations. This is a feat very rarely ever committed. If yes. It, if it makes you feel any better, the only bit of combat we had this session was Storm punching Fumi in the face. <laughs> I don't necessarily <laughs> mind combat. Because I find it fun at times. The only times it's kind of meh is when it's like dragged out unnecessarily. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness. But otherwise... Probably not. Funniest way to end this, just in the punching Fumi by mistake. <laughs> yeah, and she's right there back at the temple, rubbing her nose, goes, ow, ow. Oh, yeah, that's going to last. <laughs> Man, I love myself some strong woman. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you did not. <laughs> He's just dolphin the back. That's my girl. <laughs> oh, what a way to end with a fin. Uh.